All right, Sketchpad Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So today we're going to be reacting to Elon Musk telling the advertisers to take a hike. You know what I'm saying? So we be back. Who raised you? bar was crazy oh my god uh, children are too young to make those type of choices for themselves you know that's why they have parents oh eat each other. what yo i can't, can't understand it neither i'm just ahead of it oh uh, yeah man we back make sure you like share subscribe to the page hit the thumbs up button like the content hey man youtube is doing some funny stuff if you can't li click the link if you want to donate, you can't click the link. You just have to copy it and go to PayPal or go to Cash App, type the name in or whatever. If you can't do that, if you don't feel like doing it, you don't have to. It's fine. You know what I'm saying? Just share the video with your friends and family. We got some more stuff coming. We got some new Harry Mac coming soon. We got some new Easy Meal coming soon. We got some new Tom McDonald. We got some new everybody. We got some new, you know, Pete and Boss, everything. We coming. Adam Calhoun, we see you. He got you coming too. And we also got uh your boy coming, Dax coming next. You know what I'm saying? So let's get into this Elon Musk thing and we're gonna discuss this, man, because this is very important. What was that trip like? And obviously you know that there's a public perception that, and, and you're clarifying this now, um, but there's a public perception that that was part of a apology tour, if you will. That this had been said online there was all of the criticism. There was advertisers leaving. We talked to Bob Iger today. I hope today. they stop. You hope? Uh, don't advertise. You don't want them to advertise? No. What do you mean? If, if somebody's gonna try to blackmail me with advertising, blackmail me with money, go f yourself. But go f yourself. <laughs> is that clear? <laughs> I, I hope it is. Hey, Bob, if you're in the audience. Well, well, let me ask you then. <laughs> That's how I feel. Don't advertise. Actually, what, what this advertising boycott is, uh, is, is going to do, it's, it's going to kill the company. And do you think that the I, I, but, And the whole world will know that those advertisers killed the company, and we will document it in great detail. But there are, those advertisers, I imagine, are going to say, they're going to say, we didn't kill the company. Oh, yeah? They're going to say... Tell it to, tell it to Earth. But they're going, to say that, they're going to say, Elon, that you killed the company because you said these things and that they were inappropriate things and that they didn't feel comfortable on the platform, right? Let's that's see, that's and, what and they're going to say. And let's see how Earth responds to that. So, let me, okay, this, then this goes back to... We'll, the, we'll both make our cases. Right. And we'll see what the outcome is. What are the economics of that for you? I mean, you, you have enormous resources, so you can actually keep this company going for a very long time. Would you keep it going for a long time if there was no advertising? I mean, if the company fails because of an advertiser boycott, it will fail because of an advertiser boycott, and that will be what bankrupted the company, and that's what everybody on Earth will know. But what do you think, then, of the... I, I guess this goes back to the to idea exist. of trust, though. Then it'll I, be gone. And it'll be gone because of an advertiser boycott. But, but you recognize that some of those people are going to say that they didn't feel comfortable on the platform. And I, I, wonder, I just wonder and ask you and think about that for a Tell second. Tell it to the judge. But the, but the judge is going to be... Uh, the judge is the public. Mm. Man, oh man, I tell you. Man, look, there are a couple of people in my life that I admire. First of all, I want to say that Elon Musk is the greatest man walking earth right now. Protect him at all costs. 
He's the greatest man walking earth right now. <coughs> he said something in the interview that they didn't play that part. But he said, you have a lot of people who care about looking good, but doing evil. So there's a couple of people that I look up to and always looked up to. And he falls in this category now. So one was Steve Jobs. He passed away. Obviously was my, my father before Steve Jobs. You know what I'm saying? But we saying people I don't really know that I just look up to. Steve Jobs, Jordan Peterson, Thomas Sowell, Elon Musk. Those are the people that I think could change the planet if they wanted to. Yeah, you know I'm saying there's other people there too, but but as far as Elon goes, he is the protector of free speech. People don't understand that freedom of speech is the greatest weapon you can use against anyone. Not in a sense of trying to hurt them, but in the sense of the greatest weapon you can use to defend yourself. This is what people got to understand. That's what people got to understand. So, Elon Musk coming out and saying this, telling the advertisers to basically go fuck themselves, that's a big deal. Because now you're going to have a lot of companies who follow behind that. And he says, I'm going to, we're going to document everything in great detail. Basically saying like, everybody's going to know it was your fault. Everybody. Now, whether they care or not, is another thing. But obviously they care because I believe Disney lost millions of subscribers the very next day. Mm -hmm. So people got to understand. It, there's people who just want you to shut up. They want you to be quiet. They want everybody to not say nothing. Elon Musk is one of those people like, listen. This platform that I'm that I have in my possession, you can say whatever you want as long as you ain't threatening to kill somebody, and as long as you ain't lying and making up stuff, because we're gonna check you. But if you don't like somebody because they black, okay. You don't like somebody because they white, okay. You can say whatever you want, but that's the beauty of it, because everybody feels as though we're living in this this surreal world where people just like say whatever you know what I'm saying and it should be where you could say whatever but not in a threatening manner so when he telling the advertisers to go fuck themselves basically saying like well I've been I, Tesla is successful there's no commercials to Tesla Tesla don't get advertisement and guess what it's still successful so I don't think Twitter is going to go anywhere don't get me wrong. It's going to take a hit, of course, but it's a platform that's all over the world. And guess what? There are going to be advertisers who's going to say, you know what? We'll step in. Twitter. Uh, 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 oh, OK. Apple and I'm not doing nothing. OK, we'll step in and they'll all come back because it's all about money. They don't care. They don't care. They will they virtual signal right now. But trust and believe next week or two weeks from now, they'll be right back. Because that's what it's all about. It's all about virtual signal. They don't care. So they'll be back. But either way, it is what it is. But shout out to Elon Musk, man. Shout out. Yeah. Um, so here's the thing, right? And we spoke about this off camera plenty of times. Like, you can't censor the truth you may be able to mute it for a while but the truth always manages to bring itself to light always 
It always comes to light. So when you try to censor the truth and try to like push reality away, it makes you look stupid. You can't go tell somebody the sky is pink when you know at that given time that it's blue. You can't do that. You may be able to get away with it for that one time, but eventually people are going to get common sense and they're going to look and say, nah, it's really blue, bro. Like, what are you talking about? Hmm. Why are you, you know what I'm saying? And I hate when, you know, when you try to have an open mind and you, you try to just speak your own truth and, and people try to censor it because they're in a disagreement with it. Like, I, I, I don't understand that, you know, like, why can't we just be on a, uh, 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 we can agree and not agree type of basis. Like, oh, I could disagree with you, but I don't hate you. You could disagree with me, but you don't hate me. But every time I turn around, people disagree with one another. It's always, I, I hate this guy. I want to shoot this guy. I want to go rob this guy's house. I want to go do this. I want to go do that. All off of a disagreement. So tell me this, folks. Y'all don't agree with Elon Musk and what he says and what he thinks and how he does business, right? Y'all going to try something with that man? Y'all not even going to be able to get close. Trust and believe y'all not even going to be able to get close. Y'all going to try, but y'all ain't going to be able to get close. That man will have you sunned so fast, so fast. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm... I'm I mean, shout out to Elon Musk, man. Just, you know, speaking that truth, man. Like, you know, you you can't, he he's the, the voice for the voiceless. That's how I'm looking at it. When it comes to business, when it comes to, you know, things that can change the world, he's one of those folks that is the voice for the voiceless because a lot of people wouldn't have said what he said on, 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 on national TV, he, they wouldn't have said that, you know, they would have been too scared. And there's more just like him, you know what I mean? There's a list of people we can name right now that have the, the same voice and the same type of swagger and just want to speak out for the people. And he's one of them, you know, salute to him. The, 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 the look on that guy's face, man, was hilarious, man. He was, he was, what did he just say? <laughs> Yo, the whole crowd just like you could you could just see it. They was they were so appalled. You can hear it. Like even though you didn't see him, you didn't hear nothing, you could feel the room just shake when he said mm -hmm. that. Because all of those people are beholden to donors. They they don't mm. understand that a man can get up there and say, Fuck you and your money. I don't care about your money. Fuck you. And that shit shook them to the core because that's what they depend on. They depend mm -hmm. on using you. I got the money. You got to do what I tell you to do. And when someone says to you, well, fuck your money. From that level, it just shows you like the, the, the arrogance of some of these rich people that this guy is the richest man in the world. And he's telling you, you evil. I got here off of merit and whatever I did, but you're evil. You people are evil. All I see is y'all people out here pretending to be good people, but y'all not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't care about nothing. Mm -hmm. And him saying that and him doing that, it 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 it, 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 it it's like a ripple effect that they can't get around. Mm -hmm. So, listen, man. Shout out to Elon Musk, man. That's all I can say, man. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, but yeah, man. We are we 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 hear we hear about all types of people, man. He's definitely a revolutionarist. Like he's 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 a guy that's gonna set. He's one of the people to me that could set the world back to where it needs to be. You know, he's one of those. He's one of those folks. Now, whether they let him do that, 
you know, that's another story. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. you know there's going to be always people that step it, that's going to step it on, try to step on people like him and try to step in the way. And, it, you know, so. But uh, God bless that man. All right, man. Simple. Catch Pat, we out of here. See y'all. Peace. All right.